Hello and thank you for your Kenick. In this video, I'm going to explain what it means when you get the anti theft uh, activated, anti theft protection activated on the command on the display here. Um, I'll, I'll explain really quick a couple of common issues why that can come up, and also I'll tell you a quick fix. Now, there could be quite a few issues that are could cause that uh, that error message so we have an article where we go more in depth on that and how to troubleshoot and how to read the codes from the command with the Ucanic scanner but really quick a couple of reasons the most common one is that the battery in the car might have gotten a little bit weak now your car might still start but it doesn't mean that that battery if that battery voltage drops uh, below 12 or like a, really below 12.5 what happens is when you start the car communication between the command and the ignition or the EIS might um, not communicate so this is going to throw that code because it's just that she doesn't see the car network working so it throws anti-theft uh, protection detected so usually if you just uh, walk out of the car lock the doors and lock them come back in and then start the radio if that doesn't work this is what you could do press and hold is for 10 seconds And what that is going to do is going to reboot the command. And uh, while the car is running, the voltage is pretty high. There's no issues. Uh, the car communication network is all up and running. And then when you reboot it, it should communicate uh, with the EIS, with the ignition and everything else. And then boot up properly. And that's it. Um, it if it doesn't work, like I said, then you need a full system scanner that can go into the command control unit and see if you have any codes there if you don't have any codes if you can't communicate with that command control unit you might have a, a bad command that needs to be replaced but that's it thank you for watching a mechanic where you can be the mechanic